All right, so I wasn't even going to talk about Puff no more <laughs> because, to be honest with you, uh, you don't care. It's not that I don't care. I just feel like, um. I've hit people before, like women I've been in relationships before. Okay. And so, I don't really want to, I ain't did no shit like him though. Right. <laughs> like I ain't never beat no bitches up. No, that was a little egregious. Thing. Right. But I've hit people that I've been in relationships before. So, I don't want to be talking about his situation as if I'm some perfect person. Right. So, I just kind of, anything that, it's kind of like the pot called in the kettle black. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to be that type of person. Right. You feel what I'm saying? We've all smacked a bitch before. Be done. But for this particular situation mm-hmm. with uh, this story that just came out. Mm-hmm. So <coughs> for y'all that don't know, Danielle Smith is Elliot Wilson's wife. Elliot Wilson. Let me pull him up. So, Elliot Wilson is a journalist. Mm -hmm. Now, if any of you guys follow, like, social media, if y'all follow, you know, certain podcasts, then you would know, like, in recent years, Elliot Wilson has been kind of, like, making himself look real lame. No. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't really follow him. No, you don't follow him. But he's been making himself look real lame. And the reason why he's been making himself real lame is because he's been doing a lot of clout chasing shit, trying to get noticed, trying to get attention. This guy's 50 years old. He spent the majority of his career uh, 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 clout chasing. Dick eating Jay-Z and the whole Rockefeller situation and mm. not really building his brand, but just sticking close to somebody else. And so over the last couple of years, He's been doing real clout chasey stuff, saying stuff, like just being real lame. Yeah, so he's not being himself. To, I don't think he's being himself. Uh, because a lot of the stuff that he was talking that he be talking about now, he would have he would have never talked about that stuff back in the day if it had something to do with like he wouldn't have been talking about Jay Z's relationship. Oh wow. You know, feel yeah. me? Some scandal or certain rappers and stuff like that. But now because it's popular to do, he's He's been he's more hopping on that train. Huh? He's hopping on that train that everybody else is doing. And so, recently, his wife must have decided that she wanted to hop on that train as well. <laughs> so, apparently, she released, uh, so the, the post says, Vibe Magazine, former editor-in-chief, alleges Diddy threatened her over 1997 cover dispute. Danielle was told she would be dead in the trunk of her car. Oh, wow. So... This is something that happened in 1997. What year is it? This is over 20 20 years ago that this situation has happened. And I feel like anybody other than than real victims Mm -hmm. coming out and saying anything about his behavior, his temperament, his attitude, I feel like those people are clout chasing. Right. I feel like those people... Because she wasn't hit. He didn't do anything to you. It was just words. I probably told a bitch I'd knock your motherfucking block off or some shit like that. Right. But I'm not making excuses for his behavior. That's not what I'm trying to get at here. Yeah, yeah. What I'm trying to say is that the clout chasing of now and everybody want to speak on his attitude, his behavior, his temperament. But nobody, y'all let him get away with it. If you would have said something in 97, he probably would have never got the opportunity to, to do what he did to, to, to Cassie. Yeah. Or, 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 or any of these other women that he threatened or, or done things to. But you, you got to speak up for yourself or for something that you see that's doing that they're doing wrong. You got to speak up in that moment, not wait two decades and then want to talk about it now. Exactly. And what's crazy about the people that's speaking up now is a lot of these people were in positions in the industry. So you clearly know the reason why they're not speaking up is because they don't want to blackball themselves. They don't want to get fired. You got radio You got radio personalities that talk about how certain artists got them fired. 
back oh, in the wow. day. Just because the radio personality might have said something to the artist or done something and the artist didn't like it and because the artist is high selling or powerful or whatever. Right. But again, in 2024, speaking on his temperament, his behavior, when it has nothing to do with you filing any charges or you trying to get some sort of reparation for your for your for your be for the things that happened to you, it's all clout chasing. Alright. It's all clout chasing. Because what is the reason to come out now? Because you're looking for a moment. That's the reason to come out now. The reason she's speaking on it now is because she's looking for a moment. She's looking for some virality. She's looking for some some people going to her page and talking yeah. to her. And that's she must what have it, something coming out in a couple weeks or something. She always got stuff. She wrote a book. She's It ain't like she ain't got nothing going on. But who can't use some more press? Yeah. Who can't use some more? This some is more. what people do when they want to get something to their get some attention to themselves exactly that's clearly why we're here on youtube making videos because we're trying to get attention for the youtube channel yeah. but it's so crazy because i feel like for me it's hard for me to come up with topics and ideas for videos and stuff like that because i don't want to do clout chasey stuff i don't want to do clickbaity stuff i right. don't want to but in this era in this day and age all you have is people responding to clout chasing, mm -hmm. clickbait, and things of that nature. So if you're trying to build a brand for yourself, you and you're trying that. to get revenue, you got to play into it. Oh, but yeah. this is just egregious. Like, yeah, this has been two decades. Two decades. Nothing ever happened to you. He threatened you. You should have been telling people long ago that right. that's what he was doing. That's the type of person. Be careful. He threatens people if you don't if he doesn't get what he exactly. wants. Exactly. Stuff like that. That's exactly what she should have said. She was the editor in chief of Vibe magazine. She, she could have wrote that in the little you clip. You could have published the byline. Be careful with Puff because he. No, she was scared. No. If you're scared, go to a somebody if that can scared, protect go you. Go to church. <laughs> not like, not no, a church. No, no, no. Because <laughs> don't 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 get it fucked up. Like I do sympathize with her being scared. Yeah. Because. But why? Wait? I just don't understand why I wait so long. That's just like. Two years, maybe, but two decades. Well, the reason That's why people, so long. Well, people are coming out now because it's the trend to pile on. He's the topic of discussion. He's America's most hated right now. So he's got enough on his plate. Leave that man alone. If she say something about his temperament, nobody, nothing gonna happen to her right now because no. everybody gonna be on her side. Like right. that, it's kind of like it's kind of like the person who don't never want to fight until they got a, a, a bunch of people with them. Yeah, that's you know exactly what, what it it's sounds just like. like. It's just like what happened with Drake and, and Kendrick. All these years, Drake has been a menace to the industry, as you will. Mm -hmm. Taking people's girls, uh, 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 you know, just running things. And all of a sudden, when one person starts to go up against him, two people, three people, mm -hmm. now everybody who was weak-minded is going now, up against them. They now feel compelled to go up against him because mm. you can you can do it. And that's pretty much what's happening with the situation with Puff is so many people feel they they, they, they found their strength. Right. They found their voice. That's but, all it takes. But if you're not a real victim, I think you should just be quiet. Yeah. Let the real victims speak let out. Let the real victims speak out. But the clout chasing bullcrap is is overshadowing all of the real victims. That. If they now they not they might not want to come out exactly, but they might feel not even that they might not want to come out. People might not take them seriously yeah. because then it's like another list of a person with a with a puff story. Yep, you That's... should have been said something. You know what I'm saying? You should have been said something. But you clout chasing and trying to make a moment. And Diddy is the biggest topic. Shit, I dropped a Diddy video. I got two thousand five hundred views on it. He's the biggest topic. But you don't That's... see me doubling down, making video after video after video. The next time I talked about puff. I was talking about Young Miami. Make sure y'all right. go watch that video. Uh, did Puff ruin Young Miami's career? Mm -hmm. I'm going to put the link somewhere for y'all. But yeah, that's what I feel like. I wonder about that now. Well, if you go <laughs> watch my video, I made a great point. <laughs> uh, I'm going to watch that. Yeah, definitely. But you tell me how you feel when we'll give our final thoughts. I feel like she should have spoke out when it happened. Mm -hmm. Or since she's an, an editor of a magazine, I definitely think she should have put it in the magazine like you should have said something then not wait all these years right, even i don't anonymously. i don't agree with that yeah you could have definitely done it anonymously right. if you're so scared right. to speak how you feel you could have 
done a separate article and came out and you could have went to somebody else, could have mm-hmm. went to the police. Hey, this person threatened me. They might not have taken it seriously as mm-hmm. much because they don't really care about threats, in my opinion. That's just how I think of them. Yeah, yeah. But, but she should have just said something to somebody. About, right, it's not even about, like, getting him locked up for threats. It's right. just about letting Having people it out know there. what type of person he yeah. is. So that years later, when Cassie comes out and say this is the type of person he is, or this person comes out and say this is the type of person he is, there's they have a track, a track track record. There's a track record of yeah. him being a nasty, mean person to people. Mm-hmm. But now it's like, all of a sudden, everybody got these stories about him. Everybody got these moments with him. Everybody, but guess what? None of y'all, nobody said nothing. Y'all just kept letting them get richer, yet kept letting them get more powerful, kept letting them do things and do things until right. y'all just bubbled over and came to a head. You can't do and that. I, and, and you know what? Do whatever you need to do. Right. But at the end of the day, people up. need to learn that when you meet people like Puff, you can't be silent about their behavior. You can't be silent about their yeah. temperament and how they treat people. Because guess what? They're going to continue to keep doing it because they're getting away with it. And when you don't say anything, you become an accomplice.